Hi, I'm Wayne Bryan, producing artistic director for Music Theatre Wichita. We're launching the season finale of our 2015 season with the all-time classic Hello, Dolly. If you come see Hello, Dolly, you'll also learn about the shows we're planning for next year. So come see this bountiful, wonderful show. Here are some of the people who are working on making it happen. It is amazing to play Dolly Levi again. It's a role that I just fell in love with. Um, I love her journey because She's a woman who um, is all of a sudden looking at her life and realizing she's not living. And she lost her husband several years ago. And it was a, a very beautiful, deep relationship. And she's at a point in her life where all of a sudden she sees something from that time and goes, oh my God, I, I'm like this leaf, no color, no life. And, and the metaphor of before the parade passes by, She's saying, before it passes by, I'm gonna grab life, I'm gonna live. Um, I've got a reason to live again. Um, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna do it now. And I think that's a wonderful message for everybody. All of those lights over there seem to be telling me where I'm going. When the whistles blow and the cymbals crash, and the sparklers light the sky. I'm gonna raise the roof. Well, my name is Bill Nolte, and I play Horace Van de Gilder, the well-known half a millionaire from Yonkers, New York. At first, I, I think of him as an island, and very isolated, and, and, and not threatened by everyone, but just he can't really understand everyone. And by the end, through the course of the night, he, uh, he opens up a little bit and Dolly helps him open up, and uh, he enjoys, he enjoys I, uh, Dolly, um, even though you would never know it by the dialogue, but uh, finally I meet someone that gives me a run for my money. It takes a woman all powdered in pink to joyously clean out the drain in the sink, and it takes an angel with long golden lashes and soft Dresden fingers for dumping the ashes. Yes, it takes a woman, a dainty woman. Uh, well, my name is Steve Hitchcock, and I am playing Cornelius Hackle. And on this day in his life, he has decided that he's had enough of the same old, same old. Uh, Vandergelder has come to him with a promotion and Cornelius thinks that he basically already had that job. And at that point he realizes, I'm stuck. So he's made the choice, uh, he makes the choice very quickly to uh, throw all that out the window, throw caution to the wind, and take a little adventure to New York City. But on your Sunday clothes there's lots of world out there. Get out the brilliantine and dime cigars. We're gonna find adventure in the evening air. Girls in white in a perfume night where the lights are bright as a star. Uh, my name is Carrie Conti. I'm playing Irene Malloy and she is the hat shop owner. Um, she is in the shop with Minnie, her assistant. Um, she's a recent widow and um, she's about to be uh, engaged to Horace Van de Gelder. Uh, and she's ready, she's ready for adventure uh, before she gets married, I think. <laughs> she's ready to, to go and, and have a little bit of an adventure before she, she has to be a wife again. Down my back this summer, blue and green and streaming in the yellow sky. Yeah, um, so I work at Vandegelder's Hay and Feed Store with um, my coworker Cornelius, who is sort of like my um, brother and father type since I never really had a family. And it's been really fun finding the journey and growth of Barnaby throughout the show from when you see him in the hay and feed store to the very end of the story because he doesn't know much about love or life. He's more immature than his age, but also very naive about life. So it's kind of a more innocent um, growth throughout the show. Um, it's, it's just so fun to see 
how all of their emotions just explode into the song and dance in a lot of the numbers and just the style is so, so, ah, I don't even know how to put it. So like clean and polished and energetic. It's so fun. <laughs> yes, New York, it's really us, Barnaby and Cornelius. All the guests of Mr. Hackle are feeling great and look spectacular. What a knack there is to that acting like a born aristocrat. We got elegance if you ain't got elegance. You can never, ever carry. Uh, it's, not, it's great to come back to this place that gave me my start uh, and to kind of pass on the torch to a new generation of musical theater performers. Uh, this show is awesome. Uh, the dancing is spectacular. I remember being in it and being somewhat overwhelmed as a young musical theater performer, trying to learn all of it in such a short amount of time. Now I'm a little bit more overwhelmed trying to teach it all in a short time. But it's going really well and its cast is fantastic. Uh, the, the choreography is visceral and uh, quirky and stylistic and athletic and beautiful and uh, it's going to be a lovely show. Each, uh, each cityscape or street scene is, is framed by the same kind of frame that would have been used in an old vaudeville uh, drop curtain or oleo drop which adds a little bit more Victorian charm to, the, uh, to each of the individual scenes and helps frame the action of the, of the play. Um, doing Hello, Dolly, it's one, it's one of those things that every person that's in musical theater needs to experience. Whether it's in the uh, point of view of being an actor, a choreographer, a director, anything, it is musical theater. It brings all the elements of joy of musical theater. It brings in the color, the costumes, the dancing, the sets, the acting, the big, bigger than life characters. It, you just get caught up in it so quickly. You're looking swell, Dolly, we can tell, Dolly, you're still glowing. 